Are you making these 21 mistakes that could be destroying your YouTube channel without even realizing it? These mistakes can have a significant impact on the success of your videos, both during and after uploading. Additionally, I can share 100% free websites with you that will help boost your viewer retention and engagement with just one click, making you a VIP YouTuber. Be sure to watch until the end, as I will be sharing these bonuses at any moment. Mistake 1. To adjust this setting, go to your YouTube studio, then select Content, and click on the details of one of your videos. Scroll down until you see Publish to Subscribe subscription feed and notify subscribers. This option is not available because the video is already uploaded. However, when uploading a new video, you will have the chance to turn this option on or off. The main issue with leaving it on is that YouTube will recommend any videos you upload to your loyal subscribers. For example, if you have a Minecraft channel and you upload a GTA 5 video, YouTube may recommend it to Minecraft fans. This could result in the video not getting good engagement, which YouTube will notice as poor performance. Therefore, it's best to leave this option unchecked. Mistake 2. Allowing automatic chapter. If you go to the same place but a bit lower, you will see the option to allow automatic chapter divisions. Chapters are segments created by YouTube to enhance engagement. However, it is better to create them manually as automatic chapters can be confusing and may impact viewer retention. Here's how to create them. Start by typing 0 colon 0 0 and title your first chapter, let's say intro. Then add the timestamp at the end of the intro, let's say 0 colon 15 and type the name of the next chapter. Example, message. Repeat the same process, typing the end time timestamp of the message, for example 3 colon 0 0, and giving it a name. You can choose to uncheck automatic chapter creation if you find them confusing or if you are lazy. Mistake number 3, which is not customizing your homepage. This step is crucial because when viewers land on your channel and find it confusing, you could lose a lot of views. To fix this, go to customization and then to the layout section. At the bottom, you'll find the sections area. Here, you can customize your homepage. By default, YouTube displays shorts first because it promotes short content. If you have short videos, that's okay. However, if you only have long Long form content, remove the short section and add a popular video section instead. This will increase the chances of your videos getting views when viewers visit your channel. Mistake 4. Not adding a subscription link. For this, just copy the link of your channel and paste it in a notepad. Then type question mark sub underscore confirmation equals 1. When someone using a desktop heads to your channel, a pop-up will appear, prompting them to subscribe. You can also paste it in the description of videos and on your channel. Mistake 5. Not using a subscribe watermark on your videos. To add a watermark, go to customization, then to branding, and scroll to the end. Here you can upload your video's watermark. For the watermark, you can use your channel logo or a subscribe button image. Don't leave it on the default setting. Change it to appear throughout the entire video. This will add a watermark to your videos while people are watching, and when they click on it, a subscribe button will pop up. Mistake 6. Not putting related tags for your YouTube channel. To add tags, go to settings and click on channel. Under basic info, you can write keywords related to your channel. For example, if you have a gaming channel focused on Minecraft, you can type Minecraft Gaming or Minecraft Home. Mistake 7. Not blocking bad words. This one is important because as a YouTuber, you will receive many spam links or other inappropriate comments on your videos. This can create a negative experience for your viewers. When the YouTube algorithm detects these comments and viewers rate them as awful or bad, it can negatively impact your channel. To fix this, go to your YouTube settings, access the community section, scroll down to find the block words feature, and add any words you want to block. Mistake 8. Not choosing a category. Categories are more important than we think. I bet none of you pay attention to the category when uploading videos on YouTube. However, the category is as important as the title and thumbnail because it helps the algorithm identify the type of video you are uploading, resulting in more views. Remember, great content is essential to grab your audience's attention. Before you upload, make sure to select the appropriate category. If you're unsure, you can check similar videos in your niche. Right-click on the title, select View Page Source, and then press Ctrl plus F and search for Category to find out which category they are using. Mistake 9. Not including an end screen. To add an end screen, go to the studio, select Content, and scroll down to the end screen section. You can add a video playlist here. YouTube favors it when viewers watch multiple videos from your channel. So by including an end screen, you're encouraging them to watch more of your content. If they watch a second video, the algorithm will be more likely to recommend your content. Mistake 10. Not enabling verification. This step is the most important and doesn't just affect your views. It can kill your entire channel. If you don't have two-step verification and someone hacks your channel, you can lose all control. Imagine putting in all the hard work, effort, and dedication only for a scammer to take over and build a passive income business from your hard work. Don't be lazy. Enable verification now. After you enter the studio, there will be a notification prompt to complete your verification. And now, here's the bonus I'm mentioning. There's a 100% free website that will create any type of music you need based on just a prompt. Yes, just prompts. This website is called MusicFX. You can type in the emotions or mood and the action you need, and MusicFX will generate the background music for you. Also, there's ChatGPT where you can get popular music prompts and paste them into MusicFX to create your background music. But I won't explain how to get prompts. Just paste and download your background music. I'll include 
include the link in the description. Also, stay tuned for another website that will permanently change the way you create your hook. Be patient, I'll reveal it at any time. Mistake 11, renaming your video file with a weird name. Let's make it clear that there is a title name for your video and a metadata name for your video. The metadata is more important than the video title. You have to make the metadata title the most searched keyword you find on the video topic you are working on. For example, if your video title is about make money online, you can make your metadata name how to make money online easily. Before you upload the video, make sure to change the file name because once you upload it, you can't change it. By the way, it doesn't only help for your video to be found on YouTube, but also on Google because all these search-based websites use a metadata name to detect what type of videos they are. Mistake 12, thumbnail name. Yes, in the thumbnail, it's not just about clicking. It also helps with SEO optimization. The same goes for the previous mistake. For this, you need to change the thumbnail file name to a keyword you want to rank for, update the metadata for the file, and ensure that the title contains the same keywords. By doing this, when someone searches for an image on Google, your thumbnail image will appear. Mistake 13, miss using three main hashtags. If any video is uploaded, you should see three main hashtags in the first description. When clicked, these hashtags should direct you to videos that use the same main hashtags. These are not just normal hashtags. They are the main hashtags that help the algorithm detect the type of videos and direct more viewers to your content. Therefore, it's important to use keywords with search volume and low competition that are also relevant to your niche or topic. To add these hashtags to your existing videos, go to YouTube Studio, select a video without these hashtags, and then add the three main hashtags at the bottom of the description without mixing them with other hashtags. Mistake 14, tags. As we know, everyone knows how to use tags, but nowadays people are ignoring the importance of tags because YouTube mentioned that tags play a minimum role in your video's discovery. But trust me, I know what I'm talking about. It matters and it helps. You don't have anything to lose, so don't skip tags or fill them with just random and useless keywords. Tags are allowed up to 500 characters, and the best tags to use are those with high search volume and low competition. However, going for high volume keywords and high competition will not help, especially if you are a small channel like me. Mistake 15, publishing unlisted. Publishing your videos as unlisted is quietly killing your YouTube channel. If you make your video unlisted, very few people will watch it. This signals to YouTube that the video is not good. Therefore, when it's live, YouTube will not recommend it to a wider audience. This means you are killing your videos without knowing. It's better to schedule or keep them private, but never make them unlisted. Mistake 16, not adding a pinned comment. This one isn't major, but it does help. Being the first one to comment on your videos may seem strange, but you have to do it. Then you have to pin the comment for everyone to see when they arrive. You can write whatever you want about the video or direct them to a website or product you're promoting or just spread some love. It's better to leave something than nothing. Mistake 17, nowadays people are watching YouTube on TV and their numbers are increasing fast. As you know, when you use TV, you want to watch video after video without changing topics. They need YouTube to recommend them videos one after another, and that's where playlists come in. So you need to select a playlist when uploading every video. However, I advise you not to create too many playlists. Keep them clear and clean. For example, don't put a Spider-Man game video in a cute cat's playlist. Never do that. Mistake 18. Before you start creating and uploading videos, please don't make videos about yourself unless you already have a large number of subscribers, like 100,000 or more. Sometimes, smaller YouTubers make videos about themselves, and it works, but there's a trick to it. Most of the time, these videos provide a lot of value, such as tutorials on editing. For example, if someone is not a well-known video editor, but they are experienced and skilled, people will love the video, and YouTube will recommend it to a wider audience. However, the focus should be on the content, not just talking about themselves, and that's what makes their videos successful. Mistake 19. Schedule your uploads. In YouTube Studio under Audience, you can see the most active days and times of your audience on YouTube. Let's say your audience is active at 2 p.m. If you upload a video at 1.30 p.m., it will take time to process. If you don't give it enough time, the video quality may be low, which can impact your views. No one wants to see a low-quality video at peak times. If you're in a hurry to publish your first video, schedule it. By doing so, the video will have time to process, resulting in better quality. However, if you're posting a meme, it's okay to leave it as the best memes are often low quality. The second bonus today is a website that will change the hook for every video. It's called Transitional Hook for Social Media. But before I show you the website, let's check this out. Tired of laying on track. Do you see that? Yes, that's what I'm saying. You can use it for long or short videos. Here's what the website looks like. Choose any transition you need and download it with high quality resolution for 100% free. Mistake 20. Promoting your videos when you first upload them and promoting them through all social media is not a good idea. This is because you don't know what type of audience you are promoting to. If people click on your video and quickly leave, it will harm your retention rate and confuse YouTube's algorithms. However, there is a more effective way to promote your videos, but it's generally more useful for larger channels. You might wonder 
why big channels need to promote their videos, and that's a valid question because they already have a substantial audience. However, many YouTubers have a Discord or Telegram group where they can share their videos after posting them. In this case, the audience is more likely to engage because they are already a part of the creator's community and are just being notified in case they miss a YouTube notification. Mistake 21. Copying videos is a bad and illegal practice according to YouTube guidelines. I'm not suggesting that you replicate their content, but rather that you can gather ideas about topics, titles, and thumbnails. However, you should create your own videos while drawing inspiration from their general concepts and figuring out how to make them better. Avoid copying their ideas, scripts, and thumbnails exactly, as YouTube will recognize this and you will likely receive zero views. Additionally, copying will not help you grow and improve your content creation skills.